Hello everyone, I'm Akhilesh Kumar Shivasto from ABC Engineering College, Ghaziabad. In the series of the programming of the graph, today we will discuss how to find the in-degree and the out-degree of the given graph. Let's take a graph like this and let's try to understand what the in-degree and out-degree are. The in-degree represents that how many edges are terminating at a given vertex and the out-degree suggests that how many edges are emerging from that edge. So, there are two terms, one is the in-degree and the other term is the out-degree. So, in-degree means how many edges are terminating at a given vertex and out-degree means how many edges are emerging or starting from the given vertex. So, if I talk about the vertex number 0, there are two vertices which are, there are two edges those are emerging from vertex number 0. One is this one, another one is this one. So, I'll say that the out degree of the zero number vertex is equal to 2. And then for one number vertex, there are two edges emerging from this. So, the out degree of the vertex number 1 is also equals to 2. From 2, there are two edges emerging. One is this one and another one is this one. So, the out degree of vertex number 2 is also 2. For vertex number 3, there is only one edge that is emerging. So, the out degree of vertex number 3 is equal to 1. For vertex number 4, there is no edge which is emerging from here. So, I'll say that the out degree of this vertex is equal to 0. Similarly, we are finding out the in degree. For zero number vertex, there is no edge which is terminating at zero number vertex. So, I'll say that the in degree of vertex number 0 is equal to 0. Similarly, for one number vertex, there is only one edge which is terminating at vertex number 1, which is this one. So, I'll say that the in degree of this vertex is equal to 1. Similarly, there is only one edge which is terminating at vertex number 2. So, I'll say that the in degree of vertex number 2 is 1. The same is for vertex number 3. The in degree is 1 because only one edge is terminating here. And for vertex number 4, the in degree will be 4 because there are 4 edges which are terminating at this vertex. Let's take another example to understand the in degree and out degree once again. So, this is the graph wherein I'll take, let's say, I will take a vector wherein I will represent the in degree and similarly I'll take a vector wherein I will represent the out degree. So, let us say that this is the out degree vertex, uh, out degree, uh, out degree array. So, the 0 has 3 emerging edges. So, the out degree of vertex number 0 is 3. 1 has 2 emerging edges. One is this one, another one is this one. So, I'll say that the out degree of vertex number 1 is 2. For 2 number vertex, the out degree is 1 because there is only one edge which emerges. For 3, it is 1. Only one edge that emerges from here. For 4, it is 0 because there are no outgoing edges from vertex number 4. Similarly, we'll find a vector or an array for finding out the in degree of the given vertices. So, the size of this array or this vector will also be four, 5. So, 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. The in degree for vertex number 0 is 0 because there is no incoming edge for 0. For 1, it is 1 because there is only one edge that terminates at 1. For 2, it is 2 because there are two edges which terminates at vertex number 2. For 3, it is 1. Only one edge that terminates from terminates at vertex number 3. And for 4, it is 3 because there are 3 edges, those two who terminate at vertex number 4. To find out the in degree and the out degree, we will have to find out the adjacency list of the uh, given graph. And with the help of the adjacency list only, we can find out the in degree and the out degree. So, let's say that we are going to write the adjacency list for the given graph. So, from 0, the connections are 1 and 2. For 1, the connection is only 4. For 2, the connections are 3 and 5. For 3, the connection is only 4. For 4, the connection is only 6. For 5, the connection is only 6. For 6, there are no outgoing edges, so this will be empty. For 7, there are two outgoing edges, so those are 2 and 5. 
So there are a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 connections. It means we have 10 edges. So we can count them here so that we remain with uh, no edges. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9, 10. So there are 10 edges which are included in the adjacency list. Since we are representing this adjacency list in the form of the array of linked list, so we can say that this is a collection of multiple arrays or you can say that this is vector of vector or you can say that this is array of vector. Let's partition this so that you can understand it in a better way. Now if I say that the size of zero number vector is two because there are two connections from here. So this will be representing the out degree of vertex number zero. Similarly, the size of what uh, the adjacency list one is one. So out degree of one is one. For two, it is two. So size of three is one. Size of four is one. Size of five is one. Size of six is zero. Size of seven is two. Hence, this is representing the out degree of the vertices. Now to find out the in degree of the vertices, let's take a direct address table. And let's say the direct address table has a size same as the number of vertices in the graph. So here we have eight vertices. So the eight will be the size of the direct address table. Let's take this direct address table and let's initialize all its elements as zero. For every connection that we go, we will increment the data value in the direct address table by one. For example, if I'm looking at a connection from zero, so the two connections are there, one and two. So at one, we will increment it by one. And for two also, we are going to increment this by one. For the connection from one, we have only one connection that is to four. So we increment this value in the direct address table by one. It means at index four in the direct address table, I'm incrementing the value. So three represents that uh, we have to go in the third value or third index in the direct address table and increment the data value by one. Similarly, for five, it is incremented by one. Once again, for four, it is incremented from one to two. For six, it is incremented from zero to one. For six, it is incremented from one to two. Then for two, this value, we will go to the two index and we'll increment this value to two. And then for five, we'll go to the five index and we'll increment this value to two. So the data value represented in the direct address table, let's draw the direct address table once again of fresh. This data value in the direct address table will be representing the in degree of the vertices. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. This value is 0, 1, 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, and 0. So you can say that the in degree of 0 is 0, in degree of 1 is 1, in degree of 2 is 2, and so on and so forth. The in degree of 6 is 6, and in degree, in degree of 6 is 2, and in degree of 7 is 0. So in the similar way, we can uh, write the code also to find it out, the find in degree and the out degree of the verses. So let's go to the code. So this is the code that we already have written for taking the input from the user for the graph. We are considering that the graph which is given to us is the directed graph. Hence, we take the endpoints of the edges and after taking the endpoints of the edges, we push back the connections in the adjacency list A. So if A, B is the edge, so in the adjacency list A, we will push back B. If it were the, the undirected edge, then in that case, we would have uh, pushed back B in A and we would have pushed back A in B's vector. So the graph is uh, over. Uh, we already have taken the graph in the form of the adjacency list. The two parts that we actually remain with is the finding out the in degree and finding out the out degree. So what we have actually seen that uh, for finding out the in degree, uh, we will use the concept of the direct address table. So let's take a vector of integer type named as the in degree and the size of the in degree will be n, which is representing the number of vertices in the graph. So you can say that uh, you can see here that the number of vertices are n. By default, the initialization is zero. Otherwise, if you do, if you're not satisfied, you can mark this at zero here. After doing so, we will uh, take, we will uh, actually go to every vertex in the graph 
or in every addition series will go so for integer let's say i is equals to 0 i less than the number of uh, addition list which is n and i plus plus after this we will go to every single vertex in the graph so for doing so or every we will go to in every adjacency list and we'll see all the connections so for going so we are taking the j so j is less than adj i dot size adj is the adjacency list so whatever is, is its size we will go up to that and after going this or right, after going to the space let's take the connection aij adjacency list ij in x and then we will go to the in degree vector at the x position and we'll increment that value by one. So for every connection, we are incrementing this value. So once this loop will finish, we'll have the in degree of the vertices. Now to find out the out degree, let's take the out degree also as the vector. So this is the out degree vector, which is of size n. No need to initialize its value because we will take up the size of each of the adjacency list and we'll update this there. So we are going to each of the adjacency list from 0 to n minus 1. And whatever is the size of uh, that particular adjacency list, it means adjacency list dot size, that will be representing the out degree of that particular vertex. So we have the in degree and the out degree. You can subsequently print the in degree and the out degrees. Now we already have found the uh, in degree and the out degree. So now it's a turn to print those values. So for uh, printing out the values of the out degree, we're just printing a message. C out out degree and then for auto i in the vector out degree, we are going to print the value out degree. Similarly, for printing out the in degree, in degree is, out degree is done. So we are now going to represent the in degree or print the in degrees. We have taken this one. So our program is over. We can simply take the examples that we took in the example part or uh, the explanation part and we can test that with those examples only. So very small mistake there, ADJ is in all lower cases, here too in the lower cases. So we are going to test according to the right hand side graph. So this graph has a total of 8 vertices and it has 10 edges. So the edge one, we are marking the connections from zero first. So zero one is the first edge, zero two is the second edge. Then one four is the third edge, two three is the fourth edge, two five is the fifth edge, three four is let's say the sixth edge, four six is let's say the seventh edge, let's say five six is the eighth edge, and the ninth edge is let's say 7 to 2 and 7 to 5 is let's say the last edge. So you can see that it uh, represents first the adjacency list of the graph. After that it represents the out degree. The out degree of 0 is 2. For 1 it is 1. For 2 it is 2. 1, 1, 1. For 3, 4 and 5. For 6 it is 0. You can see that there is no outgoing edge from zero, so from six. So the out degree of six is zero, and similarly the out degree of seven is two. In the similar manner, we have represented the in degree also. You can verify it from the given graph. So these are the references I used for recording this lecture. Thank you so much for watching this video.